It is officially week three of having the babies and I thought I would do week three update because I don't know I've done week one and week two so might as well do week three as well. We did have a bit of a hiccup. We're still going through it but we're doing better every day. A couple of the babies are sick with pneumonia and I have no idea how they got it. Doctor said I asked and the doctor just kind of gave me a generalized answer of it is just kind of always something in the environment And it's carried by dust. So Pete is here with me on the couch But I wanted to show you week three of the babies four out of six of the babies are perfectly healthy They're in the cage with mom and dad and they are playing around However, um, Petra has to kind of alternate between the cages So every couple every three or four hours I take her in one cage and put her in the other I am worried about her getting sick but at this time, it's really important that she does stay nursing these babies. So I'm just keeping a very close eye and just kind of, like I said, alternating her in between the cages. She does have a, st a stronger immune system, but she is also pregnant. So I am worried, but I do want these babies to be healthy and they are on antibiotics. Can't put Petra on antibiotics because she's pregnant, but don't you dare, you little rascal. Get over here, rascal. <laughs> Sorry, Pete almost jumped off the couch. All the other gerbils are doing really good. No one is showing signs of sickness. Petra is actually in with um, Angel and Peanut right now, which are the sick ones. And she's nursing, which is really good. She hasn't given up on them. And as long as they're nursing and not losing any weight, really, I mean, with the antibiotics, hopefully it's only uphill. Of course, baby gerbils, they're so fragile. So they could always take a turn for the worse. Hoping not, you know, I really, really hope not because Angel and Peanut are my favorite favorite and at this point if they survive I am going to be keeping them because they are very special to me. Peanut will be going in with Aang and Petrie who is being weird right now and Louie because Louie has to be separated before Petra gives birth to the second litter. So the four of those boys are going to be living in a 40 gallon tank and then Angel's going to be living with Mama but I might keep her in with Petra for a little while longer so she is socialized a little bit more and um, to also help take care of the babies with Petra. And then out of the next litter of course she hasn't given birth yet so I don't know how many there are, don't know what their genders are going to be, what they're going to look like, what their personalities are going to be but I can keep one to two babies out of that litter so <laughs> yeah that's what's been going on i've been going to the vet um i went on saturday i went to the emergency vet and i was there for five freaking hours five hours i was at the vet they did give me antibiotics and told me what to do so i've just been doing that and then i went again today just as a follow-up at my actual normal vet and that's when they were like well based off what you've told us since it was a different vet. They said that the babies do look like they are showing signs of improvement. And I also just want to discuss too, I know that they're just gerbils. The thing about um, gerbils, I always, I always say this, but like, I feel like people don't actually know small pets are expensive. And one of the things that people don't take into consideration is the fact that you will most likely at some point in their lives have to take them to the vet. It costs as much as a normal vet visit, you know? I think now I'm between these two gerbils and the two visits, I've racked up $400 in vet bills. So it's something to consider is that, you know, the gerbil itself may cost $20 at a pet store. You think that a 40 gallon $80 tank is a lot of money and it is, it is a lot of money. Yeah. I mean, if something, if any little thing goes wrong, even if their gerbil catches a cold and you want to take it to the vet and you should take it to the vet, that's going to be $100 up to $100. Don't you chew on the blanket. Um, but yeah, so something to consider that not only is there going to be initial costs, there's going to be reoccurring costs. And in the case that hopefully you'll never have to go through this, but in the case that something happens and you need to take your gerbil to the vet, anticipate that because $400 for two baby gerbils is a lot of freaking money so much but i just wanted to kind of like put that out there and discuss that because those are the conversations that people should be having before they get a pet a new family member is you know like it costs a lot of money and they're worth it if if gerbils are your thing my gerbils bring me so much joy i mean look at this i get to snuggle my gerbils all the time on the couch i watch tv with them i play with them so i know i'm <laughs> I'm talking their ears off, huh? But yeah, I just wanted to show you the babies and have a little heart to heart with you guys. I care a lot about gerbils. If you couldn't tell, I'm a little obsessed. And that's okay. It's okay. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the babies. But first I show you Mr. A. No, no, sorry, Mr. Pete. I always get their names mixed up. Hi, baby boy. Are you snuggling? Are you playing? He, he does this thing where he really, really, really likes to um, chew up my blanket. And it's not like I really care about this blanket. It's just like bad, bad behavior. He needs more to chew on in his cage though. That's what that means. You like that stuff? You like chewing? You good boy? Yeah, Pete. Pete looks just like Petra, like literally. They're, they're brother and sister. You freaking pooped on my couch. Jesus Christ, it, come on, why'd you have to do that? Pick it up. Don't run away from me. Don't you run away from me. Anyways, let me put it back and I'll show you baby, the babies, sorry. Okay, we'll start off with these babies. So these are my currently, my poor little quarantine babies, Angel and Peanut. So if you can see, um, they're definitely, well, maybe you can't tell because you haven't seen the other babies yet. They are smaller than the other babies and they're not quite as energetic. However, they are doing so much better gnawing on some parsley right now. So he's learning how to become an independent little baby and not rely so much on mommy's milk, though mommy's milk is still at the same time. Oh, somebody did a tumbly. Um, very necessary at this stage in their life. They are only three weeks old as of today, which means that um, they are just, just, just starting the weaning process. Um, so over the next two weeks before they can be rehomed and become fully, independent they have a lot of learning to do i'm just so proud of these babies you know the other i'm not trying to be dark but saturday i truly thought this little white one was going to die um i was really upset and torn up about it hence why i was at the vet for five hours she's doing much better she is on antibiotics they take such a small amount each day is a little bit better but unfortunately they're not gonna go back to the other babies probably ever they are only gonna be confined to here for the next two weeks and by then the other babies are gonna be on to their next home but I do get to keep these two. <laughs> We're gonna move over to here, and if you notice, there is a man standing on top of his house. So the litter has changed. This is not my favorite type of litter. I usually mix this in with hello. Hello, chonkies. The little chonky man. Oh my gosh, another chonky man showed up. Um, this is Aspen. Um, I usually mix this in with Carefresh litter, but the Carefresh litter that was in their cage because mom and dad did so much nesting with it would get so dusty, which I think contributed to their, their lung problems. So I also bought them a couple new houses. Hi, dad. Hi, daddy. Boo boo, my sweet baby boy. So I'm gonna show you guys the babies. These are the babies. I hate to wake them up. Blue's like in the, hello, mom and dad. This is Bink. Binky. She's getting big and strong. Don't fall, okay? And her coloring is so gorgeous. She's she's kind of like a little more on the shy side. She also has a white tip at the end of her tail. It's so cute. But she is getting so strong and she's so cute. She reminds me so much of Angel. Uh, she is up for adoption. And I will put the Instagram here. If you are interested in any of these four babies right here, make sure to message me or leave some comments on their pictures. So two of the, the two girls are gonna go together and the two boys are gonna go together. Just, um, there are some qualifications. There are some things that you need to do in order to adopt them. And that is also on the Instagram if you are interested. So Dan loves playing with the babies. Oh my God, never mind. he's digging them up. What are you doing? So let's go on to Patrick, because Patrick's really easy to catch. This is such, he's my third favorite out of them. He's the biggest, he's the sweetest, he is the fluffiest right now. And he is just absolutely freaking adorable and sweet and strong and so smart. And Patrick is like the perfect name. He just looks like a Patrick to me. But yeah, it's okay, little one, be careful. There you go. This one is Otto. Otto's a nutcase. He's obsessed with his mother because he looks just like her. Um, he's super cute. He's also up for adoption. He's gonna be going with Patrick is the one that I just showed you. Again, if, if you're interested in these babies, make sure to go to this Instagram. The link is in the description box. And here he is, little Otto. 
sweet boy and their eyes of course if you didn't notice they're all open and their ears are up their colors are coming out all the way through so i'm just like how crazy beautiful are they and so cute they're so playful at this age dad loves playing with them he like hops around and <laughs> he's nesting right now and then this girl right here this is sunshine or sunny i had a hedgehog named sunny look at how insanely beautiful this gerbil is and she has a little white tip at her tail as well but she is so freaking cute and she's so curious and she's so smart and I, I just adore, I adore all, I really adore all of them, but this little girl is so sweet and she's gonna be finding a home with Binky. So again, if you're interested, make sure to check them out. So three weeks, they have a few more weeks to go. Six weeks is when they can be adopted out. There you go, love. These are the crazies. Mom's playing a ping pong ball. Patrick is always looking at me. There's Sunny, back there's Binky. Auto's climbing. <laughs> Me with Justin Bieber guys. Yeah, we're like really tight. I don't know why my boyfriend bought this, but I'm not gonna ask too many questions. I don't know about you, but watching them grow up makes me so happy. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. <laughs> I'll do week four if you want. I'm sorry, I, I do have another video lined up with um, the gerbils getting sick. Really all that's on my mind right now is the gerbils. So, I'm <laughs> sorry. That video will come out soon, by the way. But thank you guys so much for joining me today, once again, showcasing the gerbil's progression. I will see you guys in the next video, which hopefully won't be a gerbil video. We'll see. All right, bye.